Hey guys, welcome back. All right, hello and welcome. Today is another exciting video because it is another gift guide video. And I know you guys love these probably more than anything else on my channel. Um, but, and freaking, if we're being honest here, I love them probably the most too. They're just so much fun to film. Today's video is no exception. I'm really excited to share this with you. I started doing this particular one last year, and so many of you guys, we were so excited that I did it because you also have incredibly picky husband or men in your life, and we're looking for some ideas. Sorry, that was my phone. <laughs> anyway, um, so today's video is going to be what I got my husband for Christmas and just like a men's gift guide. So this obviously doesn't completely represent only your husband or your significant other in your life. It could be for your dad, your brother, your friend, your co-worker, whomever. Um, but I hope I give you some ideas. If you've been watching me for a while, then um, you would know that I have a great husband. He's amazing. He's a hunk of burn in love, he's a babe, I love him so much, and he's a great dad and a great husband and an incredibly kind person, but he's also an incredibly picky person. So for gifts, he either doesn't have any that he can think of on the top of his head, so I have to come up with them, or he has a list, which typically he always has like a short list, um, but they're very specific. Like he is not somebody that you could be like, okay, he wants this type He'll put like a blanket down, right? Like, and I'll be like, okay, well, he put this exact blanket down and I picked a, like a different blanket, but it's still a nice blanket. He wanted that blanket, you know what I'm saying? Not that he's ever put a blanket down on his list. Typically he puts a lot of like tech items, so it makes more sense what he wants, like specific ones for specific things, but he's very specific when it comes to that type of stuff. So he has a few items and then that he wants, and then I kind of have to pick and choose and guess the other stuff. Um, he's always so grateful for whatever I get, and he ends up finding things that he didn't even know that he would like or that he would want, and end up being some of his favorite things. Um, but it's still hard, and it probably takes me about nine to 12 months, no lie, to really come up with what I'm gonna get him that year. Um, I literally have a running list on notes on my phone throughout the whole year of just things to get him, links to those items, all of that stuff, um, because I like to be prepared. It sounds ridiculous, but I'm not even kidding. <laughs> so I'm excited to share with you what I got him this year. And I hope you guys are excited to watch. If you've never seen me before, hello, my name is Sarah, and I make lots of youth guide videos like this one. I also make lots of mommy content, as well as cooking videos like what's for dinner videos, cleaning videos, decorating videos, um, beauty, makeup, and plus size fashion. So if any of that strikes your fancy, I would love it if you hit that subscribe button down below, turn on that notification bell so you get notified every time I upload and become part of our little family here. I'm so incredibly thankful for each and every one of you. So let's get started on the video. It is so cold today and it was supposed to snow and it didn't because it's Texas and it never does. But it's still really cold. I have my slippers on while I'm filming. These are awesome. I wonder if I can link these below because these are like some of the best slippers. These are from Mucklux. This is not a like a men's gift guide right now but they're so comfy and they're so cozy and they're nice because they have like a rubbery bottom so you can kind of like get away with wearing them outside for a little bit <laughs> anyway that's not what this video is about let's get started on the gifts so the first thing I'm sharing with you is this little item. This is a Google Home Mini. Um, we actually already have a Google Home in the living room. I'm looking right at it. We freaking love it. I know I've posted about a Google Home before and some of you guys have been very against those types of things because um, you just feel like security reasons, which is totally, totally get it, totally validating, totally understand. Um, we love it. We have had it for a number of years now and it has helped us with so many things and it's just so much fun and it's so useful. Um, I got it actually as a gift and I've since then given it multiple times to a bunch of different people because they're so fun and so cool. So we decided that we wanted um, one for our bedroom because we don't have one for there yet. So um, basically it's just like a home system. I don't even know what to call this. 
Google Assistant. You, I'm sure you know what it is. They do have Amazon like Echo, Alexa, all of that stuff. We've always stuck with Google and have been really happy with them. But, you know, if you're interested, Amazon has one too. Um, I got this actually on a Black Friday for about $19. I think they retail for around $40 to $50 regularly. Um, but during the holidays, they're always on sale. I think right now it's $25, so it's not that much more. Um, and it's so worth it. I think this is such a good gift. It is such a nice gift. It is so helpful. And there's so many things you can do with it and add onto it by like changing the lighting and getting automatic lighting and security. I mean, it's crazy what you can do with your home now. Um, so I'm super excited to give this to him and to add to our bedroom because it'll be a gift for me as well and I'm excited for it. So I shared this last year, um, but I have got this item for him basically every single year since we've been together and celebrated Christmas together and I get him a shirt every year. And by a shirt, I mean like a themed shirt that goes with that year. And by that, I mean like if we watch a certain show together that we got really into, I will get him a shirt on that. If he's been super into something like last year, um, his favorite like artist NF came out with a new album and he like needed like multiple items off of that and whatever so I got him some merch for that that was his shirt that year I got him like a Stranger's thing shirt Game of Thrones shirt when we first started dating we watched Dexter um, and he I got a Dexter themed shirt the office I mean every year he has like a themed shirt and he wears it non-stop until they're basically falling apart and um, so this year is no exception it's kind of like a fun tradition to start I love having tradition especially around the holidays and it's just something that he always gets to look forward to and like wondering like what's the shirt gonna be this year so this year I got him a Gordon Ramsay one now he's loved Gordon Ramsay forever but this year we watched he rewatched rewatched mind you Hell's Kitchen all over again the whole entire series and um, we always watch Master Chef together. He loves Kitchen Nightmares, which he's rewatched again. Um, there's a new one that Gordon Ramsay has come out with and he's rewatching. Like literally, there's like five people in his life of men that he's just like obsessed with, and one of them is Gordon Ramsay. So I think he'd cry if he met him in real life. And he, my husband's not a like chef or a cook by any means. I love him to death, but he could barely cook macaroni and cheese. And so, um, sorry if you're watching this. I love you. Anyway, so. It's funny that he loves Gordon Ramsay so much. But anyway, this is actually a quote from Hell's Kitchen, pretty much. I mean, I'm sure he says it in his other shows, but he says, it's raw. And Jazz loves just to go around and yelling that at people because he thinks it's hilarious. And I didn't even know that they made Gordon Ramsay shirts, but I found this actually off of Amazon and I freaking love it. He is going to be so excited. I cannot wait to open this for him to open this. Um, but I got it off of Amazon. It's really nice quality. I was kind of concerned because it had no reviews, but I just took a leap of faith and went with it. I love it. It's nice quality. It's nice and stretchy. Um, I'm so excited, guys. Like, deca like the actual like screen printing is really nice. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I'm so excited for that. Um, I believe it was only like $19 or so. Um, of course, Amazon prices change a lot, so but I will have it linked below, but I think it was around $19. I always get him pajamas every single year, um, but my mom also always gets him pajamas every single year, and he ends up having a lot of pajama bottoms. He has a lot, so this year I decided to get him ones that he can still technically wear to bed, but they're also more loungewear, so he can feel okay with wearing them out, and I got him some joggers. Now, he never wanted these things, and then randomly I bought him a pair one year, and they're literally his favorite things. He loves them, and his body type looks so good in them. So I love buying him these things because they're so cute, so cute on him, and I know he really likes them. These are actually from Old Navy. I got them on Black Friday when they were having their big sales. They retail, I have no idea. I hate that Old Navy doesn't put the prices on their online stuff. So I have no idea how much they normally spit or normally charge, but I think I got them for like $9. They're really like fleecy and nice on the inside. He's always cold because he's like a super skinny little guy. And so I know that, um, once again, husband, if you're watching this, I love you so much. I love, I love you. Your body type's great. Your, yourself is great. You're a great guy. I'm not making fun of you. You're just a little tiny guy. Anyway, um, you shouldn't be watching this. But if you are, it's karma for you watching this when you're not supposed to. So, that's all I gotta say about that. Anyway, so, th <laughs> these are nice and fleecy, so keep them warm. They're really nice and stretchy. They got pockets. I just think they're really cute. These did come in other colors, but I just thought black was best and they're like nice sweatpants and he's gonna freaking love these and I'm sure never wanna take them off. So they kinda go with the Gordon Ramsay shirt, like he can wear that together if he wants or you know, whatever he wants to wear those. There you go. 
Um, I ended up getting him another pair of joggers because I can't help it. And um, he actually already has, I think, two from this line. So I'm just literally buying him every color because these are the ones he likes. These are from No Boundaries. I think the other ones he has are from George, but basically they're pretty much the same thing. And these are from Walmart. Um, these ones are more of just like a slate kind of gray color. I'm sorry that the lighting is so terrible in here. It's like the worst cloudiest day outside. And so I had to put on a light and it's very warm. So I kind of look yellow and you're kind of throwing off colors, but this is kind of like a slate um, gray color. And you know, they're basic elastic little joggers at the bottom. These are more of like a canvas each style pants. So they're a little bit more than sweatpants, but they're not like anything fancy. Once again, he has so many things he can wear with this. I know he'll get these like totally like love them as well um these are really great they're inexpensive i think these are like 12 dollars or so from walmart i really love the way these look on him he really loves them and so i'm just going to continue to add to his collection i believe i got him a black pair last year so i will continue to add because these are great and they look super cute on him okay so my camera died i had to fix it there's like a spot on the like camera screen and i keep thinking it's on my shirt and it's not so sorry if i keep like touching myself because i think i Anyway, um, I probably, I, I promise I have more than just clothes. He just never buys himself clothes. I always buy them for him. And so I just, Christmas is always a good time to do that. So sorry, but I promise the good stuff is coming. If you, this, if this isn't the good stuff to you, the good stuff is coming. Anyway, I got him this shirt and this is also from Walmart. This is from the line George, which I just talked about. I really like that line. We buy a lot from it. Um, they're just kind of like trendy pieces for men, but they're also like cool. What? That was the same thing. They're also inexpensive. I don't know. They're nice. Anyway, um, I got him this shirt. I believe I only paid like six or so dollars for it. Once again, no price on this. Um, it was inexpensive, but basically it's just a camo thermal essentially, but it's kind of like a, it's not quite a shirt and it's not quite a sweatshirt. It's kind of like in the middle. There's a little bit more of a weight to it. So this will be nice. So he can just wear this when it's like kind of cold outside, but it's not cold enough to wear like a full jacket, but he needs a little bit more than a shirt. If that makes any sense. So we got this and I actually got it to go with his joggers, which he could wear with either joggers. But anyway, I just thought it was cute. He literally doesn't have anything camo, but he was and in the army and I know he likes camo but he doesn't own anything camo so I'm excited to kind of see how he reacts to this um but I just thought it was cute and it's like comfortable and I don't know I just liked it normally there's things like joggers he never thought he'd wear in a million years and then he wore them and now like never wants to not wear them and it's like the same thing with like cardigans and a bunch of stuff and I just like find things that are like cool that I think are cool and then I'll like buy them and then he'll be like oh I'm never wearing that and then they become his new favorite thing and so that's kind of the thing it's like a testing the water sort of situation so that's a it's another test um okay I think that's it with clothing no nope, I lied I'll get to that next though because I'm sure you're tired of hearing about clothes so the next thing I mentioned this last year too um we now have started a tradition where we pretty much buy each other rings every year and it's not because we don't value the rings that we got on our wedding day or we don't love them we do but it's kind of like the idea of like the silicone ring kind of thing where it's like you want to keep your more expensive ring um safe and for fancier occasions and you wear silicones rings when you work with your hands a lot but basically we just buy each other fun rings that we really like that aren't crazy expensive and we just wear them and it's just fun it's just fun to change things up so I started doing that and he was all like I can't believe you don't want to wear your wedding ring or whatever and I was like it's not it it's, just, it's fun to do and then he, I did it for him last year and he was like this is so much fun so it's become a thing anyway this year I had found a ring that I loved and I thought it was so cool and I knew he'd love it and then randomly one day he showed me this like I think it was on Instagram it could have been Facebook I don't know a random video of quarter rings and he just like freaked out thought it was the coolest thing ever never in my life would I would have thought or purchased a quarter ring for my husband and by quarter ring I mean like a like a quarter that's been made into a ring I never thought he would like something like that and he just thought it was literally the coolest thing in the whole entire world so I went online because that site was like astronomically expensive and I was like this can't be that expensive so I went on uh online and went actually on Amazon and lo and behold tons of quarter rings apparently a thing and I found um this particular shop and the guy who makes them is named Joe and they're handcrafted in the U.S. Um, I spent a total of $36.72, so awesome, 
for the actual ring and I of course will have it linked below because it was from Amazon um, it did come in this which is if you can see it is kind of like a um, why is my camera not It did come in this, which if you can see it, if my camera wants to focus not on my face, um, it makes me think of like the like gumball machines that they have at the grocery store that are like 25 cents and you'd get like, or like the rings and stuff that would come out and they would be in like these little containers. So I'll probably get him a fancier container to put it in, um, but probably give this to my daughter because this is like totally up her alley. Um, but basically, this is the ring. This is the ring. So basically you could pick a finish if you wanted it to be um, like dark gray like this or if you wanted to be like shiny and bright and like polished silver like a quarter and stuff like that. Um, we He chose, he wanted Texas to be put on it. Okay, come on camera, get it together. He wanted the state of Texas to be put on it. You could pick any state. Um, and then they randomly pick a year or you could pick the year if you like wanted to get the year you guys were married or a year that was sentimental to you or what have you. You could pick the year instead of the state. But my husband, that's my kid, my husband is very much a Texan and loves to be a Texan. And so he wanted a Texas state quarter ring. Oh. I do know that it can like turn his finger like green and stuff like that because it is like a, a metal. It's not like sterling silver and stuff like that. Um, so I know this may cause some like finger coloration, discoloration, and that's to be expected. Um, and I think he probably knows that too. But it's really cool, like the ridges of the quarter are like, like a quarter. It's so crazy. It's like the ridges of the ring look just like the ridges of a quarter. It's super cool. Um, it's really thin and he has a pretty small finger. And so I do know that if they, you know, like if you have a husband or a boy or a, whoever you, um, if you have a wider finger that they do have to continue to thin it out. So it could be pretty thin. Um, this is definitely a lot thinner than the ring he has now, but it's still really cool. And so I'm really excited. He's like, just he already knows because he's ruined so many presents for himself um and he's already told like multiple people that he's getting a quarter ring and he's really excited about it so anyway i will have that linked below if you're interested um, i know a lot of you last year actually were really excited for the ring that i linked because you were looking for a ring and i tell you i just never spend a whole t a whole heck of a lot of money on rings because i don't feel like you really need to it's literally just the symbolism of the ring and there's so many fun things to do and it's fun to get a new ring every year so there's that Moving on. Every year I get him some new socks, which aren't super exciting, but he wear, he likes fun patterned crazy colored socks to go with his suits for work. And so these were actually from last year and I didn't give them to him. I don't know how, but it's awesome to find old presents that I can just now give him now. Anyway, these are just like kind of crazy colored ones from George from Walmart, but I did buy these ones, which are so fun. Um, his favorite show is The Office. I mean, like the amount of time, I am not the biggest fan. I'm not gonna even lie. Like, I don't love The Office. I will be the first to admit that. I know that's like blasphemy for so many people. Um, I think it's great. I actually do enjoy a lot of components of The Office. And I think if I hadn't watched it a million and 25 times, I probably would really like it. But it's something that he literally plays and has since played since we've been married and we just celebrated our four year anniversary. And since I think like that's, they must have, I don't think it's been on Netflix forever. It's like whenever they put it on Netflix, he started watching it. And let me tell you, it's been years that he's replayed it every single day. I'm just over it. And you start breaking down the characters and realizing that they're like terrible people. Like people love Pam and Jim. They are garbage characters, let me tell you. John Krasinski, if you're ever watching this, I really love you and I think you're a great actor and I have no offense to Jim, but I just, I don't know. They're just not that great. They're like, this is not the time and place. Anyway, my husband loves The Office. Um, like loves The Office. So I found these bad boys on Amazon and they're from a brand called Balanced Co. And they just have a bunch of different office related socks and items um this is one of his favorite scenes when they're doing taking the cpr class and dwight cuts off the dummy's face and then pretends to be um hannibal lecter and says clarice and is like da, 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 da. loves it repeats it all the time it's like this raw comment so the fact that they had socks like this i was so excited um it's like i like getting things that he wouldn't expect because he is so picky and because he honestly doesn't want a lot of things it's hard to shop for him so i like finding things that i know he's gonna be like oh my gosh 
That's so awesome. So this is one of them. It's not a super expensive item, but it's an item that he's going to really enjoy and really love because they're so freaking cool. So if you have someone in your life that is obsessed with The Office, like my husband is, you should get them these socks. They have like Prison Mike. I'm pretty sure they have some Stanley ones. I mean, they have a bunch. So I will link it below. And I think they have other things than just socks as well. Um, I believe these were like $13, so they're not like the cheapest socks in town. But once again, it's not a super expensive gift, but it's a fun gift and it's been good for White Elephant actually. All right, I promise this is the last last clothing item but i got him a pair of pants from old navy he always needs new pants to wear to work i actually thought these were a bit more like dress pants um than they are these are more kind of chino style um but he can still wear them to work and will be fine um but they're just like kind of houndstooth patterned pants they make me think of the 70s in the best way and i think he's actually really gonna like these they normally are like 44 dollars or so but i got them for like 20 maybe 15 something like that um during black friday when they were having their sale and they're just really cute i know he's gonna like them i will link them below if they still have them i know that not many of you are like i need those pants but you know who knows i think they'll be really cool the next thing i got him um i'm still half of the gift i still have to buy um i don't know if i'm gonna put this in a stocking or if i'm gonna wrap it i'll probably end up wrapping it but I'm gonna get him a bottle of Tito's Vodka, which is one of his favorites. It's made locally in Austin. Um, I think you can get it nationally, I'm pretty sure. But if you can't, and you have the chance to try it, you should try it, it's great. Anyway, um, he loves vodka, not like cod. He's just, that's his like liquor of choice. All right, so um, anyway, I found this and I thought this was so freaking cool. And it's basically a shot glass with a real bullet in it. They have like a full, size like glass for like beer and stuff like that um but i just think the shot glass is cooler and we literally only have one shot glass and it's like a gag one that has like boobs on it that i got randomly in california one day and so i just think this was just cooler and it's like a real bullet and this is like totally up his alley it's made in wisconsin so it's a usa made brand and company and i just think it's cool it's called bin shot and it started as a father and son team making glassware in a formerly abandoned Thomas Edison furniture factory in rural Wisconsin. Cheers. So hashtag bin shot. I just think it's super cool and it's totally up his alley and just with a bottle of vodka, like it's a cool gift. Like if you have someone in your life that likes booze or something, you know, that and that, done. With maybe the socks, who knows? I think it's a good gift. <laughs> this next item could also be a stocking stuffer, um, depending on your stocking stuffer prices. I actually got this for me because my phone charging port stopped working and I wanted to do a wireless charger and so I just randomly Amazoned it one day and it has since changed my life. And it is the Sin Sino, Sinio uh, fast wireless charging pad. Um, Basically, it's a wireless charger. I know that these aren't like super new or anything, but it's earth shattering to me because I never had one. And I always thought they were astronomically expensive, so I never got one. And then I found this for like $20, $25 on Amazon. Literally the coolest thing in the whole entire world. I think it's so awesome. My husband was like, yeah, whatever. And then he used it and thought it was super cool too. So I got him one so we could both be wireless charging pals. And it's just really nice because at night, I a lot of times, will go to bed and so will he he'll watch the office and i will watch like asmr because i really enjoy that type of stuff some people post your boat some people doesn't anyway i like asmr to go to sleep too and by the time i'm like falling asleep i hate and i like have anxiety when i don't charge my phone and so then i like roll over and have to find it and plug it in and it's not that big of a deal but at the end of the day like i wake up right afterwards and i'm just some kind of like okay I have to try to go back to sleep again so this is nice because i can literally just like pop it I literally roll over and pop it on the like nightstand and I that's it and it's just so cool I just think it's so cool anyway so there's that if you don't ever have it and or if you've been looking for one but they're really expensive this is great this works for both iPhone at least the newer iPhones um, mine is an iPhone 10 and 10 eh, R 10 something 10 R 10 R and then my husband's is an Android of something and it works so if you can charge wirelessly on your phone then this should work for you this next thing is a random thing that i found on amazon as well um i wanted to get that same day that wirelessly charging pad for me and so i had to add something to my cart and i did this and i think this is so cool and it is a wood phone docking station now i don't think he's probably going to use this for his phone 
But the reason that I got it is because when we walk into our bedroom, our dresser is like right on to your left and he throws down all of his stuff. So his watch, his rings, his keys, his sunglasses, like it's just a mess. It's a pile. I hate it. I think it's so unattractive. It's really not that big of a deal, but it drives me insane. And then he also loses things all the time. And so I'm like, if you had a place to put them that wasn't just like scattered on the dresser, you probably wouldn't lose them. But he's just hymns and haws and whatever. So I found this and I was like, this is perfect. It's like super cool looking and like masculine and like rugged to me. But I don't know. Anyway, it's real wood. And basically, if I can remember how to put it in, um, it's this. So, I think it's like that. I think it's like that. But somehow it stands without falling in some form or fashion. Let me figure this out. Okay, so it goes like this. <laughs> and um, so in here you could like set up your phone. That's why like the little hole is you can put your charger and stuff in there. And then you can have a pen right here. Um, I don't think he'll use his phone here, but the reason that I got it is it comes with little pegs that are taped to the box, but it's pegs for right here and he can hang his keys and all of that stuff. And then his watches right here, which is perfect to hang them so they're not getting hurt. And over here you hang your sunglasses and on the back there's a spot for um, your like wallet and stuff like that. And he has just like a card, little carbon fiber wallet thing I got him a couple years back. So he can just pop that back here, his extra keys, um, which I guess could go right here, whatever, any extra stuff that he has. And it's all just like nice and it looks nice. And we just put it on the dresser and it looks like cool and organized. I'm hoping he uses this. I think this was around like $45. It wasn't incredibly cheap. It may be cheaper now because it is the holidays. Um, but it's eco-friendly, beautiful, unique, smart design. It's a sustainable product. And if you're really into that, or if the person you're giving gifts to is, I think this is awesome. I really think this is such a cool gift. And this doesn't seem like a really like crazy earth shattering gift, but when I saw it, I knew that I needed to get it because it's so perfect for our situation in our life. Okay, I have one more gift to show you, but the other two items um, that haven't come in yet, slash I haven't gotten yet, but he, the other thing that he really wanted was a gift card to Best Buy. He's been like saving up for a really ridiculously expensive gaming monitor. I wish I could buy him that, but it's like $600. It's just not happening. And he's been saving up for a while. He sounds like a little kid. He's been saving up gift cards and like extra money that we have um, that's not going into savings and stuff like that. He's been saving up for himself because he really wants to get that. And so I'm getting him a $50 gift card just to put it into that pot. Um, and normally every year he asks for games. There's normally a couple games, um, like PC games, because he's a PC gamer that he plays. But unfortunately, this year, um, everything that he wanted either got pushed back, like Doom, which he is obsessed with. It's really safe. It was supposed to be around Christmas time, or I think November, and it's got pushed back to springtime. And then um, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Modern Warfare got pushed back, or no, he ended up buying that early so he doesn't have any games that he wanted this year but i do remember him talking about a need for speed game that came out so i'm gonna get him that um and then i also ordered the red dead redemption if you remember last year that was like the one game that he wanted and i got it for him and he's he just doesn't like playing it on PlayStation because he's a PC gamer and he doesn't like the controls. I have no idea, but that was like the thing that he really wanted and then he barely played. And now he's like, oh, they have a PC, like, hint, hint. And I refused to get it because he didn't play it on PlayStation. It was like 60 bucks because it was a new game. And then I ended up breaking down and ordering it for him. So that has not come in yet. So I got him Red Dead Redemption for PC and then I'm going to order him the Need for Speed game. So we have some fun gadgety things that he can play with because that's definitely up his alley. Um, and then last but not least, last year I shared a watch with you um, from Yod and it's amazing and beautiful and he still wears it literally every single day. It's his, one of his favorite things. And I wasn't even sure um, because he hadn't really said he wanted watches um, because he he had had them in the past and just didn't really care but that had been one uh, probably his favorite gift I got him last year and he wanted a new one this year and was like I want to add to my collection I want to start this whole thing and Yod makes amazing beautiful watches like that watch is still in 
perfect condition. It doesn't look like it's been hurt at all. I would show it to you, except that he's had that on his wrist today, um, but I will include a picture. I love it too, it's so beautiful. And he wanted um, the like lighter version of it this year, like a lighter brown version of it. Unfortunately, it was sold out for a big chunk of time. And um, now, since Christmas is kind of around the corner, if I've spent a lot of money already, I just don't have the extra funds to spend like $200. Um, so I went and searched, although I do recommend that watch company and brand if you're looking for a more luxurious watch. It's, it's stunning. It really is amazing. Um, but I went and was searching for one that's equivalent that wasn't as pricey and I found this brand called Bobo Bird. And I'm just going to say first, it's definitely not Yod. And comparing the two, it's, it's, it's definitely not as fancy. But I still think it's really cool and I think that if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a watch, um, or if you have like a teenage son or somebody in your life that you don't know how they'll feel about watches or whatnot, this is a really good starting option. Um, but it comes in this wooden box and it is another wooden watch. And this one is wooden and metal. It's not just fully wood band like the Yod one is, um, but there is kind of wood across the band's bottom. Um, and it is a metal chain. And I just think it's still really pretty and it's nice and it's brown. He wanted more of a brown one that or a lighter brown one than he could wear with like more of his lighter brown options and a more casual one. So I found this one. The watch interface is nice and black and it's wooden inside. And then um, I did have it or it is like engraved on the back with a sweet message to my husband. Um, and I just think it's really cool and really pretty. It's Definitely not as fancy as the Yod one, but it still is a really nice watch. So if you're looking to buy a watch and you don't want to break the bank, um, this is a good option. I will have it linked below. I will also link the Yod one below because I do think that that is definitely worth it. I'm not working with them this year or anything. Um, they don't even know I'm mentioning this, but I just decided that I would include that because I still think that is an amazing gift and I stand by it. Um, and this also does include like the little side wash, all the little tools and all that stuff and like little cleaners and tool stuff. And then it also comes with a set of bracelets, which is so funny to me. But this had really good reviews, so I decided to end up just biting the bullet and getting it, and I really do like it. Um, I still prefer the Yod ones, but if you don't have the money to spend on that this year, this is still a really good option as well. So, but it's awesome because now he can add to his collection with his little organizer so his yoga one can be right here and his new one can be right here and it's just gonna be super fancy and i'm really excited about it so that is all of the gifts that i got my husband this year i hope i gave you some good ideas i will be doing my stocking stuffer videos um and i will be showing you what i got my husband in his stockings in his stocking not stockings um because i have a whole bunch of stuff to share with you on that front so i will share with you on those i know you guys have been looking forward to my kids stocking stuffers which are also coming and i will be actually also having another video for my kids as far as like extra items i will also be having another video um Besides the stocking stuffer for my kids of just extra items that I have purchased um, and since I've come in the mail over Black Friday and stuff like that because I've continued shopping guys. I told you I was and I have done it. So if you want to see the extra kind of last minute gifts I decided to get them. Um, it's not even really last minute. It's still only like December 10th, but for me it's last minute. So I will share those with you as well coming up. Um, and I hope you guys have been enjoying this series so far and are having a wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And I will see you guys all very soon in my next video. Bye guys.